In this video, we're going to look at how to export CorelDRAW graphics to Microsoft Office. You can export a file so that it's optimized for use with Office productivity applications like Microsoft Word or WordPerfect in CorelDRAW X3. In this scenario, Lucky U Tours has requested that we export their logo to a format Microsoft Word will actually recognize so they can use it in their letterhead template. So we're currently working on a file by the name of Lucky Brochure underscore msoffice.cdr. And here's the logo in question. What I'd like to do is export this logo so it's optimized for Microsoft Word. To do this, I'm going to move to my file menu and click on export for office. Here a dialog box will appear with all sorts of options within it. The first one is export to and it's giving me two choices. Microsoft Office or WordPerfect Office. So depending on the one you select, it will be optimized for that application. I'm going to select Microsoft Office. And this is an important drop down right here. Graphics should be best suited for, and there are two choices, compatibility or editing. Let me tell you a little bit about the difference between them. Compatibility will actually save the file to a PNG or PNG format. This preserves the appearance of the drawing when you import it into an Office application. Okay, so what that means is it's going to come in, it's going to look great, but you're not going to be able to edit it in Microsoft Word. So the other option is editing. And you can probably guess when you bring it in that format, it exports to an EMF format, which is an extended meta file format. And that lets you retain most of the editable elements in the vector drawing. So meaning you could ungroup it, break it apart and modify the object once you receive it in Microsoft Word. So let's test both, okay? We're going to start with compatibility. And like I said, I'll save it to a ping or PNG format. You see a live preview here. As well, one more drop down. Optimized for presentation, desktop printing, or commercial printing. This has to do a lot with the quality of the actual export in terms of DPI or dots per inch. If I leave it on presentation, it's going to be a lower resolution because on screen, you don't need to have a very high resolution and it really makes the file size quite large, the DPI settings. Desktop printing is about 150 DPI, so it'll look great when you print to your inkjet printer or your local printer. And then commercial printing will bump the DPI much higher. And take a look if I select commercial printing. The file size has jumped to 76.17 kilobytes. If I put it back to presentation, you'll notice that's now at 19.27. So for this example, I'm going to bring it right to desktop printing, which puts it right in the middle. And I'm ready to export. So let's go ahead and click OK. And now it's asking me where. Where do I want to save this file? I'm going to stick with the desktop. And I'm going to call it logo.png. So you're going to have to type that in, logo.png. Portable Network Graphics is what PNG stands for. I'm going to click Save. And in my case, it's just going to replace the one that currently exists. And that's it. So now let's see what that object actually looks like now in Microsoft Word. I've already launched Microsoft Word, so I'm just going to click on the blank document you see here in the taskbar. To insert an object into Microsoft Word, I'm just going to go to the Insert menu. And here I'm going to click on Picture and then From File. This is already pointing to my desktop and I'm going to click on logo.png. Click insert, and there it is in Microsoft Word. It actually looks really good. So you can see that it has been optimized for Microsoft Word, and this is, again, the uneditable version. So I can't really do much with this in Microsoft Word as it relates to breaking it apart or ungrouping it and manipulating the individual objects within. So I'm going to leave that right here, and now let's go back to CorelDRAW, and let's publish this again. This time we're going to look at a different format. So I'm going to move to the File menu, Export for Office. And this time, I'm going to drop this down and select Editing. I'm all ready to go. You can see the file size has increased somewhat. I'm at 147 because now we're looking at being able to edit this object. So I'll click OK. Again, it's looking for a name. I'm going to call it Logo as well. And this time it's Enhanced Windows Meta File, so an EMF file. Click Save. I'm just going to say Yes. And I'm ready to insert it into Word again. So I'm going to come back down to Microsoft Word. 
I have my cursor blinking right next to the original logo, which was a ping file. Click on Insert, Picture, From File, and this time we're going to bring in logo.emf and click Insert. Looks pretty much the same, so that's again very well optimized for Microsoft Word, but further to the first one we imported, we're actually able to edit this one. If I right mouse click on it and click on Edit Picture, I now have control over the individual objects and you can see the handles that appear on them. So that's an added bit of functionality that you have and you can see a little bit of degradation in the quality of the graphic. So if you're not looking to actually edit the object, I strongly recommend you import using the PNG format. I'm going to come back into CorelDRAW and show you one more advantage of publishing to the PNG format. I'm going to import one of the graphics that we just sent out and that was the PNG, so the logo.png file format. And I'm going to click and drag it and place it right here. What I wanted to point out is that it's come in with a transparent background, which is a great advantage of publishing to PNG. So you don't have to worry about this rectangular white background. It's now come in without the background and it's transparent. So that's an added benefit of publishing to this format. So that concludes this video on exporting for Office, and it also concludes this section on importing, exporting, and publishing your files.